All right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Barrow, A New Era. Last time we were here, we were working on getting our first um, pyramid or something. Uh, let's see. Let's jump into it. Here we are. We were working on getting our first... Uh, oh, what is it? What are we working on? Monument. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. And we have way too much food and we have way too much of everything. But we just don't have the apartments. So, what do these guys have that these guys don't have? What's our unemployment rate? 10%. That's good. Like, that's a good. A gift from a neighbor? Oh my gosh. Um, emissaries from... Yeah, there. Uh, we'll return in one month with your delivery of bricks. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's friendly. We want to place this maybe... And we want to accept all just bricks. We'll have one just for bricks. Um, I'm kind of waiting till we get like the papyrus so we can start making papyrus, but um, that hasn't happened yet, so... What are we sitting out at money? Are, were we making money at the end of the last one? 1762. Yep, we're making some. Uh, 2,000. Yeah, that's... That's not as many as we could accommodate. We could actually take more, but whatever. Um, Osiris has noticed your city's faithful dedication. Okay, blessing from them, and a pleased by your attention. Let's slow down, and we'll check what that what they actually think. Empathetic, congenial, and approving. So we're making a little bit of money. I would love to get to here. Which one? Ugh, which one was it that was the last one here? Um, seventeen months for. Our main guy here so let's go ahead and do that one we'll do a 70 a small one all right so let's get that going and then i don't know like what, what do we need to do to get these uh spacious apartments like i know we're just trying to upgrade and get all the stuff but we have food we have beer we have pottery we have everything that they need so what are these guys lacking they're just lacking the people six percent on that a little bit of beautification maybe maybe that'll help bring up the value of the Houses around here. What do these large statues look like? Let's see. This one looks like a big ram. Ramesses. This one is... Uh, I don't know. That, that one looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? What is this guy? Holy wow. That's a big one. Wow. Wowie. Okay, let's put him... Here, maybe, maybe, yeah. Then we'll put the we'll put a road around here. Maybe we'll leave a bigger spot for a big garden. Let's leave a. See, we're leaving kind of a, a dead spot over here. to see what this big garden does. Let's see. Monument. Oh, sweet. That's cool. So we just did one for this guy. Let's go ahead and keep going with the small ones. Um... We just need our we just need our buildings to upgrade. Our, our I mean our unemployment is good. I mean that's good. If anything, we wanted a little a little more. So let's put a little bit here. See if that if this uh, if this area will actually draw in a few more people. We don't want too many people. Not drawing in anybody. 
That's also fine. That's also fine. Where is our kingdom? Is our chief overseers? No. I'm still... There we go. I'm still not like 100% on what we need to do here. Prosperity last year, your city lost money. This reduces the city's prosperity, okay? There are too few scribal schools working in the city. Right, we don't have any. Um, okay. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's, I mean, we're, we're just basically... I mean, look, we have barley and chickpeas and, I mean, food for, for days. It's ridiculous. Do we want to hire more people? You know, or and then we'll just have unemployment. Like, look at this guy. I can't find a place to live. Now that's BS, bro. Because right here we have we have spare houses over here. We have spots ready to go. I don't even want to hear it. Okay. I hope I'm credited for the great condition of this city. What is uh? Anyways. Let's go ahead and do one for this guy, too. That way everybody's ready to go. And we'll we'll see if we can't get this one done. I think we'll get this one done this, this episode. But, yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this. I know I have. I have been enjoying it. Um, it's This game is a lot of fun. We're going to keep playing it, so... Hopefully you all enjoy it. We're going to keep it up, so... We don't have paper. Like, give me access to the world map, bro. Like, we... We don't have paper. How are we... Our kingdom rating is going to fall because we don't have paper, but we can't access paper because we because we don't have the access. How how's that supposed to work? Yeah, it broke. Fine. I mean, you can you can ask for it, but you ain't going to get it. Man, we're going on fast is not the way to go here. That's like almost too much. You I mean, our house has already disappeared. God's blessing keeps coming in every 5 seconds. All right, so we left a little bit of area here. I mean, we have everything. What are we? I mean, we're here, are we not? Like, it doesn't even tell us what these are. Um. doesn't even tell us what they are. It's goods, luxury goods. Um, yeah, I wish there was like a thing like, like, man, tell me what, like when I hover over that, tell me what it is. I don't, <coughs> I'm not understanding why that's like that. More and more uh, people want Convenient medical facilities or apothecaries. Okay, I thought we had a crap load of those all around, so let's check and see. Also, like one out here. Okay. Okay. Take it. I wish that X would, or like escape would, like back you out of the, out of the, uh, thing here yeah so I mean we're basically stuck here again like I don't really even understand what we're supposed to do like this guy wants us to give him paper but we don't have paper we don't even have the ability to make paper do we or did they give it to us no see we still don't even have this I don't know do here and we're gonna exit and I'm gonna I'm gonna reboot it I mean I don't know I don't maybe it needs to be maybe we need to reboot all right well 
I had to uh, restart the game. Like the entire game. So I got to this point and it just did not take me very long at all. And I already have the scribal school, which we did not have before. So restarting the game worked. Just saying. Just for anybody that's having might be having that issue, I want you guys to know that that worked. So now we're back at it. We're going to be putting in some reed gatherers here. And we're going to be putting in some papyrus makers here as well. Along with our storage for papyrus paper. And we accept none of this, but we accept all of this. And actually, let's do two. Uh, one for each. So this is papyrus, and we want to do this one for reeds. Reeds, accept all. So now we have one for this industry down here. And I don't know why, but we I, the game was just playing and playing and playing and playing and playing, and it would never say that I had gotten to the, the next house. If, if Maybe this was it, I don't know. Maybe this was it. Or I would assume that these are the next houses that we were trying to shoot for. And we had those. We had those houses. We're also getting ready to go broke. Um, luckily, they, they kind of bail us out. But um, we had that. And it was not allowing us to make the papyrus. So I'm assuming that it's just bugged. So for the record, go going forward for whoever might be having an issue with that... Restart the game. And when I mean restart it, I mean you have to start this whole Men Nefer map over again. So it's, I mean, it didn't take long, but I'm just saying it's kind of a pain when you've been working on a house the whole time or on, or on a city the whole time and you have to restart the whole thing. That's, uh, that's really lame. So anyways, that doesn't matter now. We're working on our industry now. You can see we have the reed gathers, the papyrus makers, which will unlock the, the scribal school. So once we start to gather a little bit of money, we're gonna go ahead and put a school in here. And then that will open up this, which will open up the world map. So then we can start exporting and importing different things. And we should be in a better place than we were before. Unfortunately, hey, it, it is what it is. I mean, it just, at least, it's, at least it worked this time. Let's see if our money's going up. We're at 204, 213, a little bit. It's going up a little bit. And this one here, the scribal school, upon, slow it down. Um, upon regular deliveries of papyrus, uh, it will improve the education in the city. So that's gonna be our next one. It's We could put it in there now. I just don't wanna drop our money too low. <laughs> We're only making a little bit at a time anyways. And we're still waiting for employees down here. For the last time, I am not hiring any more roadies. There are so many people looking for work. There's so many people looking for work, and there's work right here. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear about it. Now this might be out of range. Let's see. They are walking to find workers. Let's see how far they go. If they can't find any, we're going to have to put some down here. Okay. We have extra workers already as it is. But it looks like we're going to have to put more in down here. What is that? What is that silliness? Yeah, we're going to have to put some more in down here. Because it's just not working. Yeah, I know we're out of money. They bailed us out, though, which is nice. So we know they're going to do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a bazaar down here. And then we're basic. Oh, they, oh, they have workers. We don't want too many, so they actually got workers, so good. 
Good, very good. So now we're making paper. Well, since we have the money, let's go ahead and put in a school. I don't want to put it in. Put one here. Like on this side of the town. I'll put one here. Yeah. And then that takes six. What are we looking at on unemployment? So seven. We still have room for more people, so more people can move in. Oh, yep, here they come. Here they come. I'd like to put in another bandstand. Let's see. Let's try right here. And we'll put a <laughs> statue in here and stuff. Good grief. That guy's got a crazy cough, that's for sure. But see, we have plenty of food going on. We have all we have beer and all that stuff. I set it all up and then I just let it sit here for a few minutes and then we were boom, we were already back into the game. So hopefully this will allow us to uh to get this done. So we should be making paper. They I think they're probably making deliveries to the schools right now. This one. We don't want the gods to get mad at us while we're trying to see what's going on. Let's just start here. We're going to go ahead and do a, a common one for Bast. Just to keep them off our backs. But yeah, so I'm I'm excited to do this. I'm, I didn't get back to it right away. I actually did my live stream of the forest and then came back to this, so... So it's about 11 o'clock at night, so if I don't sound as energetic as I was before, that's why. That is why. So, yeah, but I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the forest. If you haven't seen it, surely you guys have probably seen it. But if you haven't, we're going to be doing a playthrough of that. Um, because the Sons of the Forest is coming out on the 23rd. all the way across. The Sons of the Forest is coming out on the 23rd, so I wanted to do a playthrough of the forest. And then, uh, yeah, so that's that's why we're doing that one. So if you get a chance, go check that one out too. That one's, that one's a lot of fun. How many, does he have 100 units of paper? I have to go clear across the city with these This is true, sir, but you get paid to do it, so. You get paid to do it, so I don't want to hear about it. Complains about the fact that he gets paid to do something. Okay, look, so now we're moving right along. Now that you have managed to educate some of your people, you might want to generate additional revenue by selling any surplus papyrus you have to neighboring cities. You'll also need to import bricks from Perwaj... Yeah, that one. In order to build the sacred Mastab tomb. Climb, click on the world map... Climb. Click on the world map icon on the left panel to see what other cities there are in the town... There are in the known world. Oh, it is getting late, huh? And begin setting up trade. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and slow this down. We want to click on the world map. Um, trade routes. Uh, show, this shows the location. We'll look at it. Yeah, go away. So right here, are, there's two different ones. This is the one we need to get bricks from. Um, they sell bricks, clay, pottery, reeds, and figs. That would be kind of cool. We could get some figs too. Um, but we need to set up a trade route to sell papyrus to make money. Okay, sorry about that. I was sneezing. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one. And we want to go ahead, we'll come back in. We'll open one here, and we're going to open one here. So that took money, but now what we want to do is we want to go back to our, our guys here. Go ahead and hit play. And if we come in here, to our seers of, uh, overseers of commerce, we can come to Papyrus. And we want to export one over... I put two... Let's just put export one over 400 because um, the schools take 200, I think, or maybe 100. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And then once we start gaining 
you know, once we're up to like 6,000 on our money, we'll start importing different things as well. We could actually probably... These are probably pretty cheap. Let's see. Bricks are pretty expensive, but... Let's just import to maintain 200, just to give some diversity to our food um, as far as figs go. And then we'll go ahead and import some bricks um, whenever the time comes. So let's go ahead and keep that going. What do we have for unemployment? 7%, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We're kind of maintaining food, but not, not an excessive amount. So. In the last one, remember, we just had tons and tons of chickpeas all the time. So, everybody has food. We're all looking pretty good. Nothing too crazy. We have a little bit of beer. Nothing too crazy. So, I think we'll be all right. I put in a couple extra barley fields, so it should be all right there. And once we start gathering up um, papyrus, they'll start storing it here. 180 units. I want to say that each school takes 200. Um, and at this rate, we need another one. Let's go ahead and do two more. Production uh, papyrus makers. Go ahead and put them right here. Unemployment is at 10%. We'll keep an eye on it and we'll add a few houses if we need to. You just don't want to get too many because then it's like... Yeah, and then it gets a little ridiculous. Nobody wants to do it. And see, now we have too much barley. No one can accept these goods. That's okay. I can use the rest. Well, we'll go ahead and put another brewer in. Um, and I hate whenever we don't have a good spot for anything. Go ahead and put him. Hmm. It's, it's a long ways away. Let's just oh, whatever. We'll just put him right there. We should have some... Im See, there's people leaving. I can't find a place to live. But there's houses where they could be upgraded. Why aren't they upgraded? Okay. I mean, we could build some more houses. I don't know if that'll solve any problems, though. We'll put a nice medium statue. And a garden in there. So we should have a few extra workers now, hopefully. We should definitely have a little bit extra paper. Let's go ahead and do one for this guy. Just to keep him happy. Tax collectors are doing their job as well. That's good. Alright, here come some newbies. Good. Excellent. Very nice. The only reason I'm making extra paper as well is because usually they start asking for it. That's cool looking, huh? That's a cool looking uh, statue. But usually we have those missions where we have to give them um, papyrus or beer or something like that. So that's the one we couldn't get last time because they kept asking for it. But we could never, we, we didn't have the ability to make it because for some reason the game decided that it didn't want to do that. So. Uh, luckily, we made it past that, so good for us, right? Yeah, good for us. Now we have should have a few extras. We have people moving in now, so hopefully that'll work good for them. Probably put in a few five additional workers. Do we have anybody else coming? There's somebody. Okay, there's some coming in. So let's go ahead and put in another... Firefighter, a couple. We'll put in a couple of them. Apothecary and then a physician. 
And then maybe one of these guys? I don't know. Yeah. One of those guys. Put a garden in here. Kind of fill in all the extra spaces with gardens. That way it makes it look pretty. Alright, so we should have... We need 36 additional workers. But they're coming, so... It always cracks me up because then you got people that leave and you're like, what, what the heck? Dude, there's jobs, there's houses that you could move into, but you're leaving. How does that, how does that work? Well, whatever, whatever, you know. Increases the job. I think he keeps increasing this one. Because this pottery is like out of hand over here. We haven't had to make pottery since we started it because um, our... The god keeps blessing us with it, which is cool and all, but, you know. Forty-four additional workers? Wow. That's crazy. Wow, oh, I guess they hold 300. Let's see, we're already stocking it up, so. So we should be good. I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. I've been kicked okay, out of bro. my home and through no fault of my own. Um, 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 um. Um, maybe we, do we need more? I mean, I, I hate putting too many because then it's like, and there's just too many people. We go here. Then go one, two, and then a road up. We can put some more right here. There we go. A few extra houses. Maybe that'll bring our... We need more workers, so... I guess we don't really need these guys. We could probably destroy one of these. Probably. Jobs, jobs everywhere, and not a worker to fill them. It's a, it's a hard balance. I'll tell you what it, it just it is. I tell you, dude. Sometimes there'll be a whole bunch, and then there's not very many at all. Uh, so we don't really need everybody down here. So you guys stay out of here. We need to do a little festival for that guy. We haven't done anything for him for a while. For a little while. Speed it up. Now that we have it going. Alright, hopefully this will be the end game here. We're going to keep it going kind of fast since we, we had a little bit of an issue today. Um, Which one else? Which one do we need next? This one maybe? Yeah. Probably one for fast. Plenty of paper coming in. Um, we could accept all the figs too, so. Are we importing figs? We should be. Oh, they don't have any. Um, well, then why offer it, you know? Available for import, but not really. Okay. Whatever, whatever. So then the trader should come in. There he is with the little donkey. Right here. Our long and dangerous trek here was for nothing. He, the city won't trade. He just took he took four hundred papyrus papyrus and he's saying that we're not gonna trade. 
You fool? Are you are you crazy? He must be. He must be just a wacky guy. Okay, so what we want to do now. Now that we're back into money, we want to go ahead and place a storage yard over here. And we are going to place the monument. We need 800 bricks. So, well, we need a lot more than that. But we need to import 800. And then they'll give us the monument to place. So, let's do that. Let's just do 800. Well, no, they should have some. Let's see. Hold on, because I'm looking at it and we don't have any. They have 4,000 figs. Okay. Whatever. So then you kind of have to keep them happy in order to maintain this um, amount of bricks coming in. No, no, no. Make them take all this stuff out. So now we need to make the Constructors Guild. The Construction Guild supply the skilled labor needed to erect monuments. The Mastaba is made entirely of bricks and requires only Bricklayer's Guilds to build it. You can employ as many Bricklayer's Guilds as your economy can support, but make sure you also have enough brick bricks being delivered to the construction site to keep them busy. Once the Bricklayer's Guild has adequate labor, it will dispatch the brick the Bricklayers to the construction site, where they will wait for deliveries of bricks by unskilled peasant labor. Okay, and the peasant labor is the same one that we use for the camps. Uh, or, I mean, for the farms. Let's get rid of these. And they went and dumped all this stuff in here. And it's like, boys, get this out of here. We, we want this one specifically for bricks. So you can see they've already delivered the bricks to us. And it costs quite a bit. So we need to watch our money. We need to watch that closely. But now, look at this. We have the Bricklayer's Guilds, which we can place over here. Probably just put, like... Hmm... Just put two for now, and then we'll place the monument. The small musta Mustaba. Mustaba. Look at that. Pretty stinking cool, because it's... It, they say it's small, but it's, it's not that small. So we're going to place it right there. I, I right clicked on and it took the tutorial right away, but all right. We'll get it. So basically these guys here supply the peasant labor that and the peasants go and pick up the bricks, take them out here. And these guys supply the brick layers, which go out here and do that. So, so that's where we're at on that one. Well, that's cool. So we are going to, this is going to be a GG for us today, boys. Looking forward to it. So here they go. Actually, we don't need everybody out here. We don't want everybody out here. You don't need to be out here. Get out of here. So see, they're starting to dig down into the ground to... Thought I saw a trader going in there. Um, Where's the peasant? Oh, there he is. Peasant labor going in there to dig down, and they, they dig out the foundation for it. Like they're just brushing the dust away. Just brushing the dust away, just or shoveling, you know, whatever you want to call it. Sure, shoveling's fine too. So see, we're back to thirty nine ninety eight on our money. And we need to watch those bricks, because we need to import like 18,000 bricks... And we have 800 right now, so this is another reason why I'm keeping this going fast. We need people, huh? That's our, our house is already going up here. Okay, let's go ahead and add on a few more. We have one, two, and then up. Go ahead and place some here. Let's place a bazaar over here, so they have some food. There we 
go. Check our our fire. We want to make sure we're not at risk of fire anywhere. A little bit out here, but we have one here, so. So I don't know. I don't know how they get there, but. Alright, boys, you got anybody moving in? Nobody moving in. Well, the reality is we probably don't need this or this, which should increase. Well, maybe not. There we go. And the more the more you. Uh, The more you fast forward like that, I feel like it makes it worse. I feel, well, it's like, it's almost like, uh, there's lots of them that are like that. Look at that, it burned all the reeds down. That is crazy, bro. Look at this. It's completely destroying all of our stuff. That is nuts. Wow, it took all of them down. That is some BS right there, dude. You watch. Now they're going to come through and say, oh, we, we want 900 papyrus. And we'll have to say, okay. We'll get it to you. Disease strikes. Where, man? We've got, uh, we've got stuff everywhere here. Hold on. Come on, bro. This is stupid. Where is where's the disease? Slow down now. Where's our health overlay? There go. Balmer's physician. Right here. Which is complete BS because we have we have a physician right here. Or does it take or no? Well that's tax collector. Kind of deceiving because you have <laughs> these that look like the little like I don't know red cross or something you know kind of looks like that to me and then I was gonna put another put one there get rid of the overlay and now we need to uh, rebuild our stuff here I don't really feel like we need to have a spot for reed collection because they just they just continue to go. You guys, go through here. Just go. <laughs> I'm just gonna let them walk wherever they want because we're in dire need of employees. The mule. Well, they came for papyrus and the, the paper, and they, they didn't get it because it all burned down. So, wow, that's awesome. Hopefully we can get some extra people in here. Just to finish this, if anything. Here's to hoping. If we don't start doing these though, we're gonna get in trouble. The gods are gonna be mad at us, let's see. No. Why? We 
we have no people to deploy this. Hopefully the gods don't destroy everything that we are trying to do here. Okay. Now let's do a common one or a lavish festival for Bast. Are they still resentful? Okay, Osiris needs something. We'll do one more for him. I hate collecting taxes from these rundown houses. It's hardly worth my time. Okay, hopefully Osiris doesn't get mad. Come on, bro. Leave us alone. We need to watch our money, so they're trying... We're waiting for more bricks. I don't know why they're not bringing them. Check this real quick. We have 400. Where? Let me get rid of that one for now. There they go. You can see they take the bricks out to those guys. And then they build one layer of it. And this is what we're going to be doing with the with the pyramids as well. It'd be pretty good. Bro, I mean, why, how come we can't get anybody to move in? We've got food like crazy. That is just crazy. Hopefully he's coming to buy paper. Yeah, there we go. Build the road across here so he doesn't have to come all the way through town. Look at all these people leaving. I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. Oh, you're, you guys are dumb. Like, well, we have jobs and... Whatever. We have jobs, food, and everything that you could want. And they still are like, Well, I, I, I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. Oh, come on, man. So can we go here? Let's see. They still have 4,000 bricks that we could buy. These guys have clay. And I might actually drop this to 400 because I don't want to waste all of our money at one in one go. And actually, we'll just take... Oh, no, that one needs to... That one needs to stay. That one needs to stay. We've got education, we've got beer, we've got all the goods. So this guy should be... Oh, he's coming for more paper. Okay. Boom. Like a little extra money. Waiting on some bricks. Good. I mean, it's not like we're ignoring these... It's not like we're ignoring these guys on purpose, you know what I mean? Approving, benevolent, benevolent, and amiable. Osiris only has two. Oh, we did two for Bastion. Okay, there we go. There, hopefully that'll help. Good. Not like we need anything, uh, not like we need any more food or, you know, anything. I mean, look at these guys are, they don't even, we don't even need it. Actually, we'll probably take some of these out. Um, deliver. Is 
There's nowhere for us to even take this stuff. Nowhere. We can't even get the bricks, man. Okay. So our kingdom standing is climbing. We can see that where. He gets the chief overseers. Where? Which tax collector? Start running into this in the later game like this when it's like... Oh, you don't have enough people to staff? Oh, robbed. You don't have enough of this? Robbed. Like, bro, come on, man. Employees needed. Employees needed. I mean, I wish that we could get people to... a gift from a neighbor. Oh, awesome. Yep. So they're going to deliver 2,000 bricks. You know, I wish there was like a total here. So like, it would be nice to know like, okay, there's 623 here. Can this hold 3,000 total? You know, like, what is this? 3,200 total, I guess. So I guess there is a max, but it would be nice to be able to see that at a glance. That's just my two cents. You guys coming to do that. Uh, there is still insufficient space for you to receive the gift of 2,000 bricks from... What?! That is absolutely freaking be it. That I, with this is set up to accept only bricks. Oh my god! Wow, bro. Wow. I guess we'll just do this, huh? Pause the dang game. And we are accepting none. That bricks. Go. And it's so crazy, dude. Like, we had room to get those bricks. I don't understand what happened there. So 928. Okay, there we go. Now we're now we're finally getting some people in. But yeah, that is just crazy. Like we get a free gift of 2000 bricks. They're like, "Oh, sorry, there's no room." What? There was absolutely room. There was absolutely room. Just like it just said we had 500. Uh, because you sent 500 papyrus to them, they are willing to trade even more. All right. I mean, we're making money. That's all that matters. We've got people coming and going. Got to keep holding those festivals, boys. Are there? She, she, Wishes to trade more papyrus, and you have, and have become more popular among your fellow Egyptians. Good. Good. Man, we're getting like, at this point, it's like, okay, I want to finish this mission. You know what I mean? I mean, look at, check this out. Uh, we have eleven thousand bricks to go. Eleven thousand. So let's go ahead and make this one. Take it back up to 800 again. And how much do we have here? 500. Oh, 
Why doesn't he want to do that for the bricks? <laughs> That'd be cool if you would like be like, oh, here's a here's a uh, a gift of a th three thousand bricks. Boom. Gotta have a festival for everybody, so let's go ahead and keep doing that. Well, there are still a few things that I think are clunky about this game, but so far I think it's pretty cool. Once we get to this point, it's kind of like, all right, let's let's go, let's go. You know, like like I'm ready to keep like this is our second attempt basically at this, so it should not have been that way. So that's why I'm kind of keeping it going. So we have quite a bit of extra money now. I'm going to go ahead and do this. What I like to do is just do this. You can just click it and drag it. Beautify the whole town, buddy. Still fully staffed? No, we're still understaffed. All right. Man, going, going so like super fast is not beneficial. It's almost like a pain in the neck because you can't even can't even see what they're doing here. Let's see. So two here. No. There. Yeah, the the stuff from the gods gets annoying. I mean, it's nice, but it's like it's annoying at the same time. Like, bro, chill out. I'm trying to do something else. I don't need you to pop in a little thing every five seconds. Are we okay on our overlays? Let's check our risks. Definitely use one out here, I think. Probably out here. Take that down. Um, let's see. Crime fire is okay. Crime is okay. Disease good. Malaria is good. Man, imagine getting malaria back in the day. Golly. Don't oh I was gonna say, don't you tell me you're leaving, boy. You got plenty of places to go. I hate collecting taxes from these rundown houses. It's hardly worth my time worth my time though and it's definitely worth his time because if I'm paying his salary then yeah he's gonna be doing it buddy but we're still maintaining still maintaining um still over five thousand on our gold it we we had to go bankrupt to get there but you know Worse things have happened. I'm hoping to get all of this like upgraded by the time we're done with this this thing over here. We still have 7,200 bricks to go, so let's go. We're halfway done. Halfway, halfway. Um, these guys are flooded again. All right, so we have a, an unemployment amount again, which is better than not having enough. I don't want to build a large statue. What do the large ones look like? That one looks kind of cool. What is the, this one's just a big goat. This one looks like he's offering the, the bug here, and this one's the really tall one. This is the Kingdom Road. So how about that, boys? Is 
Ooh, that's nice. That uh, that guy off of Nacho Libre. Ooh. We'll plaza all this. Be like, bro, this is this is my town. Want to plaza the whole thing? Where did all our money go? Uh, concrete? <laughs> it went to concrete. You're welcome. So this is where we need to watch this. So since I've spent so much money on lavishly decorating our area, let's make sure we don't go into, we don't go broke. Okay, well, we, we're good. Still 50%, but we got our bricks in, so. Town's looking good. We don't want a garden out there. We want a plaza out here. Woo! Look at that. About this. So we want that on those, and then let's do two big ones right here. Oh my gosh, that one. We come up from this side. here and then we'll place gardens there as well not quite exactly the same but it'll work the point being that this is a nice little area Nicer than any town around, I'll tell you that much. Just gonna keep doing this because every time you do one, it, it turns the dirt road into a plaza. So, do we have more back here now? Though? And again. And again. Stopped right there, though. I guess it doesn't really go into industrial areas. Oh, look at that, man. There's one colorful friggin' city. Wow. Well, look at that. That is cool. And we are 75% done with the tomb, so we are just about there. And this looks nice. I like it. it. Looks good. More bricks. And it is interesting to think. I think aren't the pri the pyramids weren't they painted white or something like that? So like just because we see them as as stone things that are just you know there doesn't mean that they weren't painted before that to look magnificent. I mean, that would just be so crazy. That and even like the, the statues from Rome um, would be painted completely white with their faces like looking like eyes and stuff like that. So the statues weren't just there, they were actually painted. So I don't know, I just think it would be so interesting to be able to look back and see the different colors of art and stuff that was there because you know it was there. It's, it wasn't just stone like this. Like, I'm sure some of it was, but I mean, you know it was painted. And you know they had gardens, and they had, you know, the hanging gardens of uh, Babylon, where it's one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. I mean, imagine that. You know, just, they had stuff. It wasn't just like all, you know, 
law. It was it was nice too. So interesting stuff to think about for sure. We need eighteen hundred more bricks, and we're sitting at ten thousand on our money. That is crazy. So let's go ahead and throw a lavish festival. Oh no! Uh, I'm gonna want to go ahead and do. Nice. So now we're just getting a little excessive, probably because it's midnight and I'm tired, but also because we have a lot of money, so what difference does it make? Um, this one needs a brand. Yeah, we finished it. Look at there. What do you think of that, boys? All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you like Pharaoh, a new era, uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next episode, all right? You guys take care. Until then, see you later.